from WDTN. And now in high definition, this is 2 News. Hello, I'm Kelly King with today's WDTN.com webcast. After months of fiery political ads, debates, and nonstop campaigning, it all comes down to today and your vote. This election finally down to the wire with record numbers set for early voting here in Ohio. As of yesterday, nearly 1.8 million Ohioans already cast their ballots. Secretary of State John Husted says more voters have cast absentee ballots in this election than any other, and thousands flock to Montgomery County Board of Elections downtown to take advantage of early voting. Former Board of Elections member Dennis Lieberman, who was fired for defying Houston's directive to eliminate early voting on weekends, says his firing was worth it. I think when we are all said and done and we've counted up the early voting and the absentee mail-ins, that we will co come close to 80,000 ballots, which will exceed 2008 by almost 30,000. Before you head to your polling location, you will need to provide proper ID to cast a ballot. Most common is a driver's license, but you can use any of the items on this list. If you don't have ID, show up at the wrong precinct, or if you requested an absentee ballot but choose to vote in person, you'll have to use a provisional ballot. Besides the presidential race, many eyes are also watching who will win the Senate. Incumbent Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown and Republican challenger Josh Mandel faced off in three contentious debates. The two sparred over manufacturing jobs, abortion, and the auto industry bailout. Meanwhile, the race for the 10th Congressional District pits a political newcomer against a seasoned lawmaker. Third District Representative Mike Turner is a Dayton Public Schools grad, former mayor, and has an MBA from UD. Democrat Sharon Newhart is a graduate of Dayton Public Schools and a corporate lawyer who lives in Greene County. Now to the race for Montgomery County Commission. Democrat incumbent Judy Dodge has been in office since 2006. The former county recorder is a graduate of the Wright State University. Her Republican challenger is Dave Vore. The former sheriff is a graduate of CJ and Bowling Green. And Democrat Debbie Lieberman is vying for a third term the former Clayton Council member also holds a law degree from UD. She is challenged by Republican Ashley Webb. Webb, a Kettering Councilman and Lieutenant Colonel in the Ohio National Guard, has an MBA from Wright State. If you want to read more about any of these races or any of the day's top headlines, it'll all be right here for you on WDTN.com. Log on anytime, day or night, for the latest news, weather, and traffic. Again, I'm Kelly King. Thanks for logging on and watching.